is a set of four brilliant equations from one of our subscribers. And as usual, we provide free solutions to the questions from our subscribers. Have a look at it, try to solve them, and then watch the video to understand the concept. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Join my classes and enjoy mathematics. Let us explore the solution now. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and taking keen interest. We regularly receive questions and I try to answer them at the earliest. Here are four questions from one of our subscribers and I hope the solution of these will help many of you. I'd like you to pause the video, answer these questions and then look into my suggestions. We'll try to understand the concepts behind answering such questions so that you get a clear idea of how do we approach when given similar problems. So I hope you got a note of these. Let's begin with the very first one, which is x square plus y square equals to 5. And 1 over x square plus 1 over y square is 5 by 4. Let's see, how do we solve this equation? So, two conditions are given to us, x square plus y square equals to 5, the other one being 1 over x square plus 1 over y square equals to 5 by 4. Now, if I take a common denominator of x square y square, then in the numerator, I'll get y square plus x square equal to 5 by 4. The numerator y square plus x square is given to us as equal to 5, correct? So we can substitute this value here. So we get 5 over x square y square equals to 5 by 4. Now, the numerator is the same, so the denominator should also be equal. And therefore, we get the result x square y square equals to 4. Now, that leads to x y value being equal to square root of 4. Now, at this stage, it is very important to know that you always put plus and minus. So, if you don't do that, in that case, you are going to lose half of the answers, right? So, we get plus and minus 2 as the value of product of x and y. And now, what can we do? Well, if we want to write x in terms of y, in that case, x will be equal to plus minus 2 over y, right? Now, we can substitute this value in the first equation and then find what y is. So, that's the whole idea. Perfect. So, from here, we can isolate for x. So, we get x equals 2 plus minus 2 over y. So, I'm going to sub this in equation 1, which is x square plus y square equals to 5. So, instead of x, I'm going to write plus minus 2 over y. So, when you square, you get a positive number. You get the idea. Correct. And now, what we have here is 4 over y square plus y square equals to 5. Now, we can multiply by y square. We get 4 plus y to the power of 4 equals to 5 y square. And bringing all the terms together, we have y to the power of 4 minus 5 y square plus 4 equals to 0. You can factor and solve, right? So, what do you get? 4 times 1 is 4. So, we could write this as y minus 4 y square rather, right? 
since it is y to the power of 4 times y square minus 1 equals to 0. Let me squeeze this in, right? So, let me kind of squeeze this in. So, what I will do here to save space is I will use this extra space here. So, we have y square minus 4 times y square minus 1 equals to 0, correct? So, that leads to many solutions for y. From the first equation, we get y square minus 4 equals to 0 will give us y square equals to 4 or y equals to plus minus 2. And from the second equation, we have y square equals to 1 and that gives you y as plus minus 1. Correct. So, these are all the solutions which we get once we solve this equation. So, the solution set could be that y is plus minus 1 or plus minus 2. Substituting this value for each, we can find the x value and x being plus minus 2 divided by y. Correct? So, so 2 divided by 2 will give us 1 and therefore, if I write y equals to plus minus 2, then the x value will be what? Well, in this case, x value will be plus minus 1 and in that case, x value will be plus minus 2, right? So, these are four solution sets for you. So, you can have, because since x and y are both squared, when you square a negative number, it will be positive. And therefore, the solution set could be combinations of plus minus 2, plus minus 1 or plus minus 1 plus minus 2. Does it make sense to you, right? You can verify the result. So, so that is how we can actually solve the given question, right? Now, I hope the solution is absolutely clear. Let's look into the second one. The second one being x square plus y square equals to 10 and 1 over x plus 1 over y equals to 4 over 3. Now, in this case, strategy is going to be different, not the same as in the previous example. Perfect. So, I hope you understand the strategy which we applied here. We took the common denominator, solved the equation for x, y. Now, in this case, you still need to solve the equation for x, y. However, slightly different, not plus and minus this time, right? So, I will give you a hint in this particular case. Remember that x plus y whole square is basically equal to x square plus y square plus 2xy. Now, in that case, the first equation which is given to you, which is x square plus y square equals to 10, can be written in this particular fashion, correct? So, some of you will see directly that we could write we could add 2xy on both the sides, right? So, so x plus y whole square basically is equal to x square plus y square is 10 plus 2xy, right? So, that becomes the one part of it from equation 1. Now, in the second equation, you have xy, right, in the denominator and the numerator being y plus x equals to 4 over 3. Now, you can clearly see that x plus y and x y, if we square it, we again get a quadratic equation in x and y, right? x square y square. You can find that value. Perfect. And then solve it. So, I'll leave that part to you. You can very clearly see that the solution seems to be 3 and 1, right? So, so the solution will be what? Solution seems to be x could be 3 and y could be 1 or the other way, right? So, very clear, 3 is in the denominator. You can get 3 only by the product of 3 and 1, right? 3 is a prime number and you can see 3 plus 1 is 4. So, as such, if this is a multiple choice question for you, you can very easily write down the answer and move forward. Perfect. So, I hope with this, you get clear idea of how do we solve the, the first two questions, right? So, we have 
solve these two questions left something for you here with the hint right that should help the next two which are slightly different but having the same approach we will take these solutions in the next video i hope you understand and appreciate it well in case you find the solution first then post your solution that will be highly appreciated i hope you understand and appreciate our effort in this particular case in case you want to learn from me you can always send an email on the address given i'll be more than happy to teach you thanks for your time and all the best